When we finally got pregnant with our rainbow baby, I decided that when it was time to bring him into this world, I wanted to feel everything. Okay, so here are my birth preferences, obviously because sometimes things don't always go to plan, but what I want is no epidural, no pain meds. Yeah, next time, just take both of your hands and pull up really high, okay? Just because maybe turkey's going down a lot, and like, you know, if it, if it keeps doing that, sometimes we have to help get the baby out quicker, and I'm not to have to do that, okay? <laughs> I need you to push real strong and good, okay? Yeah. Good guys, you can It's 4 a.m. and my water broke. Oh, I can't believe I'm gonna get to meet him soon. It feels so surreal, it still feels surreal. Andrew and I spent the morning doing last minute preparations like packing for the hospital, making brownies for the nurses, and other totally essential tasks. <laughs> well, you just told me your water broke. <laughs> So it's time to fix the mini fridge? Yes. <laughs> so the plan was to labor at home until my contractions became consistent. For the first few hours, we relaxed, watched our favorite comics, and I did lots of bouncing. While we waited, I couldn't help but reflect on the past nine months. This probably sounds crazy, but I wanted to tell our son everything he missed out on while growing in my belly. And this is what I would say. I'd say, okay, at your first party, the baby shower, so many people showed up who love you already. Your mama, that's me, <laughs> insisted on playing a hilarious, slightly inappropriate shower game, while your papa left it all out on the court trying to win another. I've had a lot of fun getting to know what you like to eat. All I do is feed him whatever he wants all day. You mean watermelon? Mm -hmm. Caramel apples and Italian sub sandwiches. Heated, of course. You've already been out of the country. You were with us in Mexico for a wedding where your mom and papa also celebrated our 10th wedding anniversary. You also traveled with me to Vegas to play some poker and even cashed in your first tournament. Baby's first cash. You're already winning, buddy. And you were the inspiration for your papa's biggest life-changing career win. And I can't wait for you to meet your cousin Sophia. She's already learning to say baby. And Pepper, your big sister, you're going to love her. She's been overseeing the assembly of your bed and your car seat. Now you won't know for a while what it means to go viral, but the story of you has. More than 350,000 strangers are excited for you to arrive. And with that story, the one thing I want you to know is that even though we waited five years for you, you are coming at exactly the right time. And you get to know that you are so very wanted. So that's what I would say to our son. But of course, before we got to meet him, he'd have to make his journey out. And after a relaxing morning, by early afternoon, shit got real, real quick. The contractions are... Well, actually, no, they're called surges. They're getting closer together and farther, uh, I mean, harder. But what I'm noticing is that, like, when I start to get scared of the pain and I start resisting it, it hurts way more. And I just, like, remind myself it's getting me closer to meeting our baby. It hurts a lot less. I'm getting a little nervous because I told my doctor that my water broke and they have me on, like, a timer. Oh, Okay, what I'm trying to explain here is that my doctor told me to go to the hospital right away because they would need to induce me if I wasn't going to deliver within 24 hours of my water breaking. But I wanted to avoid any medical intervention if possible, so I decided to labor at home as long as I could. Here, you can see Andrew get behind me to apply counter pressure to my hips to help with the pain. But what I know now is that I should have definitely gone to the hospital already if I couldn't speak through my contractions. Also, probably not always the best idea to go against medical advice. So what I was saying is they want me to go into triage right away. I feel like I'm progressing really well right now. I don't want to induce. Just a little longer and then we'll go. A few minutes later we headed to the hospital and the craziest thing happened. I started to get anxious and my contractions stopped. Apparently the cervix is like a sphincter so just like how it's impossible to pee or poop when you're nervous, 
The cervix is also shy and won't continue opening until it feels safe. So I put on my headphones to listen to positive affirmations and consciously let go of my fear of the hospital and the unknown. Then Andrew grabbed my hand and said, we could do this. And it totally worked. By the time we got to the hospital, my contractions were coming every 30 to 45 seconds. After we parked, we knew we didn't have time to grab everything, so Andrew said, okay, what do we need? Of course, I told him, the brownies, we need the brownies. So we left the car without anything that we actually needed and then tried to rush into the hospital, but we had to stop every few steps so I could get through a contraction. It's getting really intense, guys, so I don't know how much more footage I'll be able to get. But we're uh, we're walking into the hospital right now. I'm scared it's gonna happen fast. It's coming. They're just coming so fast. I would bend over, and Andrew had to set the plate of brownies on the ground and then squeeze my butt until I could walk again. By the time we got to triage, I was eight centimeters, and you deliver at ten. You doing okay, babe? You got this. It was at this point that I seriously questioned my decision not to get an epidural, but even if I changed my mind, I knew it was already way too late. Within 15 minutes of arriving at the hospital, I was in the delivery room ready to push. Just more intense, you got it. And it kept getting more intense. So as soon as I settled in the bed, I closed my eyes to go inward and focus. And all I could hear was Andrew's voice. Just remember all of those five years, how much we wanted this, how hard we tried. We thought we would never be able to have a baby. Here we are. <laughs> Only like a couple pushes away from seeing our son. There are many measures of strength, but I believe one of them is what you are willing to endure when someone you love needs you. And it's funny, I always thought I was a strong person, but when the doctor told me our baby's heart rate was dropping, I gathered more strength than I ever knew I was capable of. Let's go, baby. Let's go, baby. You're pushing nice. Those are good pushes. Those are good pushes, mama. Those are good pushes. Good, 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 good. Breath. Now push, 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 push. Good, good, good. Breath. Now push. Good, baby. Good. Oh my God, you're doing so good. Good, good, good. Good. Oh. Oh, my God. 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 Push so hard. You work so hard. Miles Bradley Moreno was born at 4:42 p.m. on August 19th, 2021. Seven pounds, eight ounces, and as healthy and hairy as a baby could be. So caught up in need of your demon Did I be lost with no My I know We did it He came when he was ready. He did, and he did such a good job. I've officially been a dad for right about 24 hours. 
and I can tell already this is going to be what everyone says is true is like the hardest thing ever but the best thing ever but I'm just really grateful and we've had so many people reach out to us I already feel just like he's gotten to have such a big family and so many friends and the first view of father and son and mama that's our family. We're just missing our little peppy. What do you think? You ready to go home? Yeah. You got your first outfit on. You're with your mama and your papa. You look beautiful too, babe. Oh, you're showing mama those big beautiful eyes. Miles, you ready to go home? You ready to go start your life? Well, we're gonna start it. Oh, you give me that little eyeball? <laughs> yeah, I like to see your eyes. <gasps> yeah. Oh, oh,